a financially struggling single mother who owns a locust farm discovers an eerie method of reproducing locusts, unaware that this is the beginning of a twisted fate. At dawn, Virginie diligently begins her farm work but becomes frustrated upon seeing her locusts barely laying eggs. She asks people from the internet to derive strategies to increase the insects' numbers, but she's stuck with the same answers they increase food and water intake. Then, her son, Gaston, reminds her that he needs to get to his soccer practice, but she passes the duty to Laura, her eldest child, as she's busy with work. Despite expressing her displeasure, the eldest sibling accompanies her brother. Once on the field, Laura gets mocking looks and whispers from other teenagers on the bleachers, which makes her extremely uncomfortable. Meanwhile, Virginie's client, Brian, arrives to claim the locust supplies, but she can only produce four boxes. The client expresses his disappointment since she promised to give more six months ago and honestly tells her that he needs four times the amount she can give. He gives a final warning to increase the numbers, or heal in their partnership. Hours later, Laura helps her mother in cutting grass. She asks Virginie about the status with Brian, and the mom confesses the truth and admits she doesn't know what to do next. Then, Virginie requests Laura to keep it a secret from Gaston. Afterward, Virginie calls Kareem, a family friend, to borrow money, and the man immediately agrees. He then calls some contacts to look for possible clients for Virginie who offer a good amount of money but he fails. That evening, the mother directs Gaston to turn off their lights to provide stable electricity for the locust lighting. After checking up on the insects, Laura approaches her mom and informs her about Gaston's wheezing during practice and that the coach is asking about the summer camp. Virginie responds that she has to think about it more, and Laura enters the house. The following morning, Laura sees a video of her schoolmates mocking her mom's livelihood on social media. Hours later, she helps her mom pack the locusts for the store supplies, and Virginie blabbers about her ideas for their business. As she directs Laura on what to do, the daughter addresses her mother as a boss, which Virginie doesn't appreciate, but the teenager insists it's a sign of respect. Meanwhile, Gaston holds a pet locust, which interestingly crawls to his finger wart. Later, on the car ride to deliver locusts to the shops, he tells his family about it, but his sister finds the comment disgusting while Virginie tells him to ignore his warts. When they arrive at the destination, the mom hurriedly brings the boxes to the stores, leaving her children in the car. Laura complains of hunger, and Gaston notices Kevin, the bully, across the parking lot. Laura confronts him, but the bully continues mocking their family, including their father, who took his own life. Enraged. Laura pounces on him and punches him, but Kevin hits her back. Virginie arrives and brings her daughter away while warning the teenagers not to touch her daughter. Laura storms off while the mom assists Gaston, who's limping due to a knee cut he got from falling due to the commotion. He explains that the bullies mentioned their dad, which made his sister explode. When they return home, Laura bursts and complains about how pathetic their lives are especially being mocked due to her mom's business. Virginie reasons with her, but the daughter has had enough. After regaining composure, Virginie calls people to find a buyer for her farm, but their offers remain low. Then, she approaches Laura to attend to her injury. As the teenager remains hostile, the mom shares her plan to sell the farm and start somewhere else, which consoles Laura. That afternoon, the mom spends quality time in their yard with her children and Gaston's pet goat, Huguet, especially as the electricity is down again. The next day at school, Laura eyes Kevin and decides to confront him, saying that she'll be gone in a month, and insults him. Meanwhile, a new client who owns a duck farm arrives at Virginie's place. As they settle for payment, he comments about how she owes Kareem since her friend convinced him to buy locusts from Virginie. He explains that he's only covering a small portion of the payment while Kareem will pay the rest. Because of this, the woman angrily takes the product and sends him away. Frustrated, she enters the locust shelter and trashes the place. Unfortunately, she slides and hits her head, making her faint. 
She regains consciousness after a while and discovers the locusts feasting on her wounds and blood. After cleaning herself up, she intently contemplates what she witnessed. Her two children argue before her, but she doesn't notice until Gaston calls her attention. Pretending to be okay, she helps them wash the dishes, but they're interrupted by their neighbor, Mr. Duvivier, looking for his dog, Jackie. Virginie reminds him it's the fourth time he crossed her property in a month, and the man apologizes as his dog runs to him. That evening, Karim visits Virginie to ask why she turned the client away. The woman responds that she already owes him too much and didn't ask for help regarding the business. Karim reasons that he owes her and her husband, Nico, when he first arrived at this place. Then, he asks her if she thinks the locust business will work out, but Virginie becomes defensive. Karim then inquires if she doesn't miss working as a nurse, which offends the woman more as she corrects him, saying she was a nurse aide before bidding him goodbye. Virginie returns to the farm to check on the locusts and finds plenty of eggs, which traps her in deep thoughts. The next day, the mom urges her children to attend school earlier than necessary. She then heads to the farm and hears the loud buzzing of the frantic locusts. To confirm her theory, she removes the bandage from her wound. She places her arm inside the enclosure, and the insects feast on her. Hours after, Gaston returns home while Virginie cleans her wound. That evening, the mom sends her son to bed, and he comments about the loudness of the locusts buzzing. The following day, Virginie enters the farm wearing a beekeeper suit and discovers the massive amount of eggs. Therefore, she calls Kareem for help in building another dome due to the incredible speed and amount of spawning. Virginie regains her enthusiasm, and when her children arrive from school, she explains that they're expanding since the locusts are laying eggs a lot. Gaston becomes excited, but Laura becomes upset as this means that her mom won't sell the business, and the promise with her is broken. Virginie escorts Gaston to the farm and firmly instructs him never to enter without protective gear. The boy comments on how big the insects have become, so the mom alibis that she feeds them parsley instead. Gaston asks to get a few as pets, and his mom agrees. He places his new pets with the other locusts and leaves one inside a small cardboard box. The boy puts it on the table while eating and boasts to Laura about how strong the insect is as it can make the box move. Laura ignores him, but when he doesn't stop, the daughter hits the box, crushing the locust inside. Virginie calls out her daughter's behavior, and Laura blurts out her disappointment to her mom for breaking the promise of leaving the place and selling the farm. The mother declares they won't leave since the timing is off, so Laura enumerates how terrible the place is, but Virginie insists that everything is for them. Therefore, the daughter points out how ignorant her mother is for not knowing what's happening in their lives, and she's just being stubborn about the farm because she doesn't want to fail. The mother tries to convince them to support her and give her a chance, but only Gaston agrees while Laura walks out. Meanwhile, the new locusts in Gaston's collection devour the smaller ones. Afterward, Laura returns to the farm, and this time, she sits in the middle as she removes her protective suit, allowing the locusts to feed on her. Then, she meets with Kareem to talk about her upcoming business plans and informs him that she wants to do business with the duck farm owner in her way. The next day, Virginie harvests 150 kilos of locusts and drives to the duck farm for another negotiation. This time, the man is impressed that the produce is of better quality than before. However, he only has $300 compared to the $500 offer. Still, Virginie accepts the money and returns home to order 30 liters of animal blood. Then, she begins setting up a bigger dome for the locusts. All the while, Mr. Duvivier watches his neighbor's rapid business expansion. After a while, her order arrives, and the delivery man listens in disbelief and fascination as she explains she feeds the locusts with blood. Then, she hurriedly feeds the locusts as they buzz in anticipation upon smelling blood. With the locust farm expanded, the buzzing of the insects gets louder, so Laura increases her music volume as she rests outside, unable to hear her mother calling her. Afterward, the daughter helps her mother prepare the harvested insects. The following day, 
Virginie wakes up at 2 in the morning and sneakily leaves the house, unaware that her daughter notices her strange actions and routine. That afternoon, Laura's companion, Luke, visits to check on her, finding a topic of conversation. He mentions how loud the screeches of the locusts are and confirms if Laura is still leaving. In anger, Laura walks away, tells Gaston to go somewhere else with Huguette, and rips the locust enclosure open, releasing the insects. Meanwhile, Gaston and the goat rest in an old truck on their property, and the swarm attacks them. Gaston crouches to hide, but Huguette runs away. Just in time, Virginie arrives and her son informs her about the goat and the locusts. She discovers the rip on the enclosure and calls Laura to watch over Gaston before heading out to search for Huguette. Unfortunately, she finds the lifeless body of the animal and buries it. Returning home, she doesn't have the heart to tell Gaston the truth, so she offers to look for it together later. Then, Virginie confronts Laura for tearing the dome, and the daughter stubbornly expresses her hate towards the insects. Enraged, Virginie grabs her daughter's hoodie as the teenager attempts to walk out, and drags her to her room, shocking and frightening Laura as she didn't expect her mom's reaction. Moments later, Virginie drives Gaston around the area as the kid desperately calls his beloved pet. She lets her son roam around near the car and takes the chance to sob silently. The following day, Virginie reconciles with Laura by inviting them to a beach picnic. Due to the awkward silence, the mom allows Gaston to join the summer camp, which lifts his spirit. After the boy heads to the water, Laura sees her mom's wounds and asks if she's feeling hot due to the long sleeve top her mother is wearing. Virginie says no and tells her daughter to head to the water, so the teenager abides. Upon returning home, Karim waits for them with a brand new scooter. Laura excitedly greets him, and the man presents it to her as her mom's gift for her. She excitedly rides it and happily thanks her mom. Moments later, Virginie visits Karim to show appreciation, and they drink wine from Karim's vineyard. The man takes the chance to use the wine to express his feelings toward Virginie metaphorically. He takes the initiative to come closer to the woman, and they kiss, but Virginie cuts it off, apologizing to him before leaving. Soon, Virginie frantically calls the blood supplier because her 50-liter order hasn't arrived yet. Unfortunately, she's turned down as they insist on making her submit various documents before she gets removed from the waiting list. Then, a construction worker interrupts her since their new bigger greenhouse won't fit the space she mentioned. The owner points to another area, but a tree is there, so Virginie rushes to cut it down with a chainsaw. However, Gaston firmly protests since it's Huguette's favorite tree. Though frustrated, she gives in to her son's request and moves the dome. Afterward, she takes her blood as feed for the locusts. When morning comes, Kareem visits and comments on how unbelievable her business expansions are, especially since the people also find it peculiar, so the locust farmer sends him away. As night arrives, Jackie trespasses into Virginie's property again. This time, the woman calls the dog and brings him to the greenhouse to feed her insects. Meanwhile, Gaston gets nightmares about locusts infesting their house. The next day, Virginie hurries to clean up last night's incident, but Laura calls out, saying that her client and a companion have arrived. The duck farm owner introduces Guillaume, a colleague who also has a farm and is interested in getting locust supplies from her, which Virginie immediately accepts. On the other hand, Laura prepares Gaston's things for the upcoming summer camp. Still, when the boy seems uninterested in going, the sister tells him that he must get away from this place as she already suspects something is happening. When the sun sets, Virginie goes out to hunt stray animals and finds a cow. Afterward, she successfully returns home with two buckets of feed. Soon, Laura knocks on her mom's door to remind her of Gaston's summer camp. But due to overfatigue, lack of sleep, and losing blood, Virginie fails to leave her room. Therefore, Laura takes over and sends her brother on his trip. Knowing something's wrong, Gaston decides to stay, but Laura pushes him to leave. Returning home, she goes straight to her mom's room, only to find bloody clothes and sheets. Laura searches for her mom and enters the greenhouse, 
witnessing Virginie feeding herself to the locusts. In fright, she runs away and hides in the bathroom. Seeing her daughter's reaction, the mom follows her, but Laura won't open the door. The teenager sends a message to Kareem, saying something is wrong with her mom. Kareem rushes over and finds Virginie fixing a broken chainsaw in her workshop. She ignores her friend's concern regarding Laura, but she suddenly collapses. Afterward, Kareem brings her and Laura to his house for food and rest, but he feels the awkward silence between the mother and daughter on their way there. Kareem tries to lighten the mood when they arrive home, but Laura remains anxious and cries. He follows her to ask, and the teenager talks about the locusts and her mom. Afraid of getting exposed for her odd locust reproduction methods, Virginie follows them and pressures Laura to go home. Finally, Kareem loses patience and yells at Virginie about how much of a mess she is and that even her daughter is afraid of her. He says he can't help them if they keep it a secret. To not escalate the fight, Laura leaves, and Virginie follows. Meanwhile, Mr. Duvivier explores the farm and enters one of the greenhouses, looking for Jackie. He's shocked to see the swarm and the size of the locusts, but he resumes looking. He opens one pot enclosure and finds his pet's collar covered in locusts, but he doesn't have a chance to leave as the locusts attack him. On the other hand, Kareem drops off the mother and daughter at home, but remembering Laura's words, he inspects the farm instead of leaving. As he enters one of the greenhouses, he discovers the lifeless body of Mr. Duvivier. Shocked, he rushes out only to be greeted by Virginie. Kareem looks at her in fright and disbelief, so the woman asks him what's wrong. Without a word, the man walks somewhere, and Virginie storms into Laura's room to ask what she said to Kareem. Freaking out, Laura blocks her door to prevent her mother from entering. Unbeknownst to them, Kareem returns to burn the greenhouses. Seeing the fire, Virginie tries to hose it down, having nothing in mind but her locusts. Seeing the swarm form like a whirlpool, Kareem rushes into the house with Laura. The man instructs Laura to close all windows and turn off the lights. Virginie remains to save her greenhouse but stops when Laura calls for help. Upon entering the house, she sees Kareem covered in locusts and frantically looks for Laura. In fright, Laura runs to the river and hides beneath the capsized boat. The swarm charges at the boat, and Laura screams for her mom. Seeing her daughter being attacked, Virginie sacrifices herself to lure the blood-hungry insects. Hearing the silence, Laura gets out of the boat and witnesses the swarm charging toward her mom, who's trying to approach her. Virginie becomes engulfed by the river, and the remaining locusts fly away. Laura is frozen in horror, seeing the water with thousands of locusts and her mom gone. Fortunately, Virginie resurfaces, and Laura hurriedly hugs her mom reuniting after the tragedy. Please subscribe Super Recap and put the notification bell for next video. See you bye.